Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you all for coming here today. Uh, I think we're, we're about to celebrate a, an historic day here for Sable Stadium and Willie Mary football. But before we begin, I'd like to introduce uh, my two associates up here, uh, President of the College of William Mary, Taylor Reevely, and our head football coach, Jimmy Laycock. As you know, at a campus like William & Mary, when you use the term historic, it really better have some significance to it. We are not a place of, of light-weighted issues and accomplishments. Uh, having said that, I believe what you're about to see and what's going to be presented to you today uh, really merits the word significant and historic uh, for this announcement. So if you direct your attention to the monitors, this is the future of Sable Stadium and the William Murray football program. As you can see, uh, this is a $27 million project. It's a renovation and enhancement of the stadium. Uh, it will have a press box, uh, three different types of seatings. Our west side grandstand will be completely refurbished. We'll have a suite level for seating. And as you can see, there'll be a, an upper deck. And yes, uh, for those of you who are come to many of our games, we will have many more bathrooms and a lot of very new bathrooms, in addition to concession stands. Everything that we're going to do will be supported by a state-of-the-art technology. And really, the, the entire goal of this, this project uh, is to really allow our fans, our student-athletes, our coaches, and even those of you who have to work the games, uh, the opportunity to have the best game day experience they possibly can. Uh, we, in, we love having our fans come to Zabel Stadium now. And we believe with this renovation and enhancement, it's only going to get better for everyone who comes in the future. As you know, uh, as you may know, uh, the opportunity for us to be here today uh, is primarily due to uh, Walt Sable. Walt was extraordinarily generous to the college over his years. And in his estate, he left us a gift of $10 million uh, for the stadium renovation. That gift, plus uh, two additional gifts from two very generous current William Mary alums have brought us to today. So without going any further, I'd like to ask Taylor Reevely to give you his comments on today and the project. Thank you, Terry. Well, as I imagine many of you know, William & Mary's football stadium was built in 1935 when the country was gripped by the Great Depression. But notwithstanding the Great Depression, our stadium was built very elegantly and very solidly. It was built really as an architectural jewel that fit seamlessly within the timeless beauty of our campus. But you know, 1935 was almost 80 years ago. Franklin Roosevelt was in his first term as president when this stadium was built, first of his four terms. In 1935, the 1930s were a very, very different era than our own. Much simpler era, much less demanding era. People probably didn't care about the bathrooms then quite as much as the passion that is now spent on them. But you know, throughout these eight decades, our stadium, which got named Zabel in 1990, has continued as a very welcoming and very serviceable home for Tribe football. With all of Tribe football's excitement and significance for the life of the college. Still, heavy use over the decades and growing age have taken their predictable toll. And the stadium really, truly needs a jolt of new life if it's going to continue to meet the needs of the university in this century. It can't simply go on as it has been. Thanks to the great generosity of four alumni of William & Mary, Walt Zabel, Hunter Smith, and the McLaughlins, Jim and Fran, new life is now feasible for the stadium. Last year, we announced a wonderful gift from Walt Zabel. Walt died at the venerable age of 97 
and he left funds for the revitalization of the stadium. Well, it was exceptional, and I mean really exceptional, both as an athlete and as a student. He was a great athlete, and he was smart as hell. He went on to build an extraordinarily successful business, and throughout his life, he remained deeply loyal to his alma mater and very generous to her with the particular place in his heart for tribe football. And now joining Walt Zabel, we have Hunter Smith and Jim and Fran McLaughlin. They too have also come to the significant aid of Zabel Stadium in its moment of need. Jim and Fran have long played a role in preserving and enhancing the bricks and mortar of William and Mary. This includes everything from the McLaughlin courtroom at our law school, SWIM library expansion and renovation, renovations of the Wren building, and recently the Brafferton, McLaughlin Street Hall, which is the home at William and Mary of geology, applied science, and computer science, was named to recognize the McLaughlin's abiding support of their alma mater. Hunter Smith, Hunter and her late husband Carl, amassed a powerful record of philanthropy throughout the Commonwealth. In the arts, in education, in athletics, Hunter is perhaps particularly well known on the campus, or the grounds as the natives say, at the University of Virginia for her creation and support and nurture of the Cavalier Marching Band. And Hunter's generosity has also been deep, deeply felt at her alma mater, William and Mary. Swim Library, her sorority house, Pi Theta, Pi's house, and in particular, in particular, William and Mary's crucial program of freshman seminars, which Hunter endowed with a gift of $10 million. And this endowment matters hugely, hugely to the health and sustainability of freshman seminars. So in so many ways, Walt Zabel, the McLaughlins, Hunter Smith, have helped sustain their alma mater. And now they're going to do it for Zabel Stadium, which really is on the cusp of a jolt of new life in the very nick of time. And now it's Coach's turn. He has been here almost, well, I guess Thomas Jefferson got here first, but close, close, well over a generation. Tribe football really is, in the modern era, Jimmy's creation, and he has been brilliantly successful at it, and in not simply delivering on the field, but in helping to shape and build the lives of generations of young men who play football here. All right, Jimmy, we're yours. Thank you, thank you, Taylor. I thought you were going to say back in 1935, just a few years before I took over here. That's what I, I thought. I was ready for you to hit me on something like that, but I appreciate that. Now, this is exciting. It's an exciting time for everybody who is involved with Tribe Football. We've got some of our players here. We've got a lot of people here. But, again, I cannot, I don't think, adequately express my excitement for the enhancement and the changes that we're going to make to Zabel Stadium. Zabel Stadium is a neat, neat place to play. It's a great place to come to the games. I've had many, many pro scouts and other people just talk about what a, a wonderful facility we have. But I know, and everybody knows, you know, we've got to move forward. We've got to improve it, and we are going to improve it. And I think it really speaks strongly, not only to in recruiting. A lot of people talk about, well, future football players will be able to come here, will be able to see the commitment that facilities uh, show. But it also speaks in <clears throat> as a recognition of 
<clears throat> excuse me, former players and coaches. You know, it's just similar to what we talked about when we uh, dedicated this building here. It's a lot of players, a lot of coaches have worked extremely hard and have done things the right way for a long, long period of time. And that's what's enabled us to have this facility, and that's also what's enabled us to have the new additions and enhancements with Zabel Stadium. And I cannot thank the benefactors enough uh, so far as the financial input that they were, were able to give us in order for this to, to happen. It means a great deal to me. I'm very humbled by the fact that they thought enough of our football program to invest this kind of money in our program. And I look forward to many, many more exciting field stadiums at Zabel coming up. Thank you very much. <laughs>